it's um I have to admit there's you know some of this going a little bit of that <laughs> yes because it's it's really action packed it doesn't stop for the whole ride John Wick's a different kind of guy altogether and a different character for you to um, play is he a little yeah yeah I don't he's know. complicated I... and vulnerable but oh, yeah, obviously right. he can yeah. conquer the world. <laughs> Hmm, that's a great character. I, I want to play that guy. <laughs> when you read the script, um, what'd you like about it? I really liked, um, I liked John's grief. I liked how he suffered. His wife passes away, he lost the one person who brought him really to, you know, he chose a life of love as opposed to a life of darkness, which we find out. Fun. That, you know, she gives him a dog as a token as a way to one. deal with grief and not to be alone. And that gets taken from him and stolen and killed in his own house as I get a home invasion. And could that dog... So I like his determination to... That is more than determination. And and to go through that, even in this scene, like the, the dog could not be cuter. No. It's possibly the cutest dog I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a puppy. <laughs> yeah, I know. It goes out to the innocent little puppy, and then when you see it, you know, stomped, oh. and it makes well, you kind of... I mean, I think part of this film is, is like there the is a little bit of a, a fantasy wish fulfillment, you know I mean, in the sense of being able to physicalize or have the power that John Wick does. I mean, it's part of what the fun of the film is, you know, that you you can say, yes, I hate those people. And, you know, you got to get them back, you know. And and then I, th I think uh, hopefully you kind of empathize or go along with the ride for as John Wick is trying to kind of reclaim his life. So what about the um, the stunts, the action-packed stuff that you have to do? Yeah, I did a lot. Of, I had, you know, a couple of months of training and then uh, we were doing some judo and jujitsu. The filmmakers wanted to do long takes so that you see stuff happen in front of you and that, um, so there's not a lot of cutting and stuff like that. So they gave me, uh, I got some great teachers and so I was able to do these long takes. It's tough work though, right? Physica physically. Yeah, but I love that. <sighs> it's fun. But if they're longer takes, you're exhausted. Yeah, which is even more fun. It's gotta be <laughs> intense, right? It's gotta be intense. What's Carfu and Gunfu? Carfu, Carfu is, um, I had this great teacher got to do some driving, so I'm throwing, you know, uh, 180s, I'm doing some drifting, I'm shooting people while I'm drifting the car. There's another person standing there, so I throw a 90 and just take them out. Um, you know, people get hit by, take, knock people over the car, and I shoot them through the roof, and then, um, so that's car foo. And then gun foo is where you're, you're using some technical, tac some tactics and some techniques that transition into jiu-jitsu or transition into judo. Um, and then just, you know, the different stuff that you're doing with guns. In the intensity of the film, did you ever break up laughing? Just because some of, some of it is so wild. It's like, you know, can I, you know, you're struggling to live and you get asked if, you, if he can send up bourbon and you think that's very lovely. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, yeah, there's humor in the film, you know, so um, in, uh, in, a nice, in a nice kind of original way. It's like this counterpoint to the intensity of the action and then the humor I, I found tasteful and